I'm going to read a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, I need to see the scroll. There is a new Star Wars movie that was announced starring Felicity Jones and Forrest Whitaker. Now the highly anticipated action-packed Rogue One, a Star Wars story, will finally hit the big screen tomorrow. If the Empire has this kind of power, what chance do we have? What chance do we have? The question is what choice? Run, hide, plead for mercy, scatter your forces. You give way to an enemy this evil with this much power, and you condemn the galaxy to an eternity of submission. The time to fight is now. Senior news editor for Entertainment Tonight, Jennifer Peros, joins me now to talk about it. What's up? Not much. How are you? I'm well. I'm yeah. excited. Excited like, to see a lot of movies this uh, weekend. Well, I'm, no, I'm only seeing one movie. I'm seeing Rogue One. Okay. Probably you're one of those. Two or three times. Are you? Yeah, really? yeah. I think of course. there's a lot of people that share the same enthusiasm we as you. We are many, Jennifer. We are, we are legion. <laughs> I know. I'm sure. Well, listen, hey, this is probably the most anticipated movie of 2016. So I definitely do think that this is going to be the one to watch and, you know, end the year with a huge bang. What, what is the buzz? What is the buzz? I mean, I know what the nerd buzz is because yeah. I'm on all the blogs, but what are what is the industry saying? Listen, the, <laughs> the buzz, uh, what the industry is saying right now is, yes, it's, of course, a highly anticipated, long-awaited film. We only oh, we also just got one about a year ago. Right. I mean, we had to wait, what, 12 years for the last one to come Except out? Except that, that one a year ago, which, I mean, it breaks my heart to say this, was a retread of Episode right. 4, which is the first Star Wars And movie. this is new. I mean, yeah. you have a new cast. You have yeah. a whole new plot line, everything. So a lot of people are... Just really excited for a fresh new take mm. on this, of course, really famous franchise. Of, of course, you can't compare this yet just to Rogue One. Right. I mean, Rogue One, I think, brought in two billion dollars overall. Of course, what you know, researchers are expecting. The Force Awakens. You Force Awakens. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Uh, the researchers are expecting Rogue One, of course, to bring in about three hundred million dollars this weekend wow. alone, which is huge, of course. Um, but yeah, you know, for a movie that a lot of people didn't have to wait too long for, just a year. This is going to be a really nice, fresh take on And it. also, Darth Vader's in it. At least it's been teased. There We've seen him in some of the... the uh, and Felicity Jones is getting a lot of a lot of award buzz for her role in this one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jennifer, Darth Vader's in it. I, uh, Felicity <laughs> Jones is great, but Darth All Vader. Darth know. Vader's in it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I right. love how exciting you I, I'm, are. I'm really, like, go. too excited, probably. Um, what about Collateral Beauty? That okay. features an all-star cast. Um, it's being compared to. It's being compared to. It's a Wonderful Life, the Jimmy Stewart movie. Huge cast. Um, from what you know, I did not see it yet. From my coworkers who have seen it, from what they are saying, um, it, it, a lot of big names. Is it going to be the favorite of you know Christmas audiences this year? Probably not. Of course, you're going to see it. Will Smith has an amazing, tremendous performance in this film. It's already getting a little Oscar really? buzz. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. You have, of course, Keira Knightley, Kate Winslet, Helen Mirren. I mean, she can't do anything wrong. Right. But um, yeah, a lot of people are are kind of, you know, comparing it to It's a Wonderful Life, a Christmas movie, a big ensemble. Of course, the writer, uh, Alan Loeb on this, says that, you know, when he first started watching A Christmas Carol and It's a Wonderful Life, he thought of this movie because of those two movies. You know, a lot of people forget that It's a Wonderful Life starts out very dark and yeah. then gets fact, lighter. It's, it's funny about It's a Wonderful Life. Um, it didn't start out as a movie that you showed at Christmas. It was only many, many years after it was released exactly. that it became this, like, holiday. Classic. So a lot of people are comparing collateral, collateral you know, to that. Um, but a lot of people, again, are probably going to go out this weekend to see that. And, of course, it's probably the worst weekend to open up your movie this year against Why? Rogue One. Oh, yeah, duh. Well, I yeah, mean, of course, yeah. Because yeah, I'm only going to see Rogue exactly. One. Exactly. Even though the, the other movie I want to talk about, August Wilson's Fences. Amazing. It's got Amazing. Denzel in it, Viola Davis. Um, this is from a uh, Broadway revival that was done in 2010, um, which was incredible. And they are amazing actors and actresses, although I can only give my heart. I only have so much of me to give, Jennifer. I know. And Star Wars I was gets actually one of those lucky people to see Viola and, okay, and so. Denzel on Broadway as well as this film. Right, so did I, yeah. Amazing. So, I mean, they won the Tony Awards for that, and I, the, the, I think the two of them are really going to pick up uh, the Golden Globe and the Oscar for that. I mean, call me crazy for predicting that now, but it's amazing. It's a movie that you're sitting in the theaters and you forget that you're sitting in a movie theater. You think you're sitting in a Broadway wow. play. I mean, it's amazing. There's just three different settings in this movie. It all takes place you know in the backyard of the house as well as a couple bedrooms in the house same as the same as the the play but I think the two of them really give incredible performances it's so real it's the entire original cast from Broadway uh, the first August film that we're seeing on the big screen sorry the first play we're seeing right. on the big screen 
this is this is one yeah. that you're not going to want to want to miss. So I know you have to see Rogue, I know. <laughs> but Fences, <laughs> several please times, make number two. Yeah, right. Please make this number two. Um, I did love the play, so it's definitely on, it's number you're two not on be my list. Um, did, have, did your sources mention to you that there might have been a little tension during the shooting of the film? Have you heard anything about that? No, I haven't. Yeah, I there have was not a, heard. because because the play was so wonderful, and I just thought that perhaps it, transporting it to film might have made it more difficult for some of the cast members. Well, hey, can but, you actually think off the top of your head which amazing play was actually done really well on the big screen? There's not too many no, of them. No. Um, There's not too many. I, I was going to say Les Mis, but I, I didn't like uh, Russell Crowe. Has Javert. I mean, <laughs> Javert, he was okay, but I mean, Not I could have had a better Javert. Yeah, but of course, as you know, it's tough to put such an iconic play on the big screen. Yeah. I think they actually did it this time. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. We'll be yeah. watching this weekend. I'm sure a lot more people will see those other movies and not just Rogue One. Exactly. Stay Jennifer warm Paris, out there. Thank you so much for stopping by, Jennifer. Thank we appreciate you. it.